Good morning. A couple of you have got in touch saying you're struggling with the simultaneous equation questions, and, and I understand that because, of course, you, I've got your books here. It was all a bit, a bit um, rushed, wasn't it, with you not coming in this week? So um, I thought I'd just go through a couple, which might jog your memories and help you, um, but don't stress about it because I will make sure in the first lesson back after Christmas um, I recap both methods again. So. Um, Hopefully, one way or the other, we'll get we'll get to the point where we can do this technique. Some of you I know will have been able to do it, and that's brilliant. So I'm going to use elimination for both of these two questions. I've got the first couple from the sheet to, to work through. So um, neither of them can easily be written as x equals or y equals, so substitution doesn't really help. So with this one, remember with elimination, the first question is, have I got the same number of x's or y's in both equations? And the answer is no. So with this one, I'm going to leave that equation and I'm going to multiply the second equation by my friend minus 1. And you know I love my multiplying by minus 1 because it just changes the sign of everything. You must remember to multiply everything by minus 1. And now I have got the same number of y's. So I look at the x's and I say, where, are, where do I find the fewest x's? Which is colder, 4 degrees or minus 5 degrees? Minus 5 is colder. So I'm going to go from there to there and ask, what's changed? So from here to here, going from minus 5x to 4x, that's adding 9x's. No y's, they haven't changed at all. Going from minus 21 all the way up to 6. So that's definitely getting bigger. That's getting 27 bigger, so I know x is 3. I then want to work out my y value, so I can go back to either equation. I'm going to rewrite the first one, so I'm going to substitute my value of x into equation 1. 4x, so that's 4 times 3, that's 12, plus 3y equals 6. So I've just rewritten that, replacing x with 3. I know that... The opposite of adding 12 is taking away 12, so y is minus 2. So my solution is x is 3, y is minus 2. Now, of course, I could have gone with the same number of x's, so I could have gone with 20 x's. Multiply that one by 5, that one by 4, I would have got the same answer. So with the second one, um, I am going to go for the same number of x's with this one. It doesn't matter whether you decide to go for the same number of x's or the same number of y's, but I'm going to multiply the first equation by 3 and the second equation by 4, and um, you know, everything, therefore, will have 12 x's. So I've got 12x plus 9y. Remember, I'm multiplying everything by 3 equals uh, 57. And multiplying by 4... 12x um, minus 20y is equal to 28. Same number of x's, so I'm now asking where are the fewest number of y's. It's here, minus 20. So that's uh, the direction I'm going to go. Going from minus 20y up to 9y, that's added 29y's. And that's made the total oh, 29 bigger. So y must be 1. Then I'm going to rewrite one of my two equations. doesn't matter which one. I'm going to rewrite the first one. So 4x plus 3 lots of y. Well, if y is 1, that's 3. So 4x equals 16. So x must be 4. So that's my solution. x is 4 and y is 1. I hope that helps. Um, and I uh, hope you can get somewhere with some of the others. Don't feel you need to do them all. We just wanted to make sure that you uh, had something to do today to keep you, uh, keep you ticking over, and I look forward to seeing you all in 2021. Take care.